This morning, Peter is a very well-traveled chef, having worked all around the world in destinations such as Istanbul, Goa, and even Moscow. And today, we reminisce about his time spent traveling, eating, and cooking in Thailand as he makes his favorite Thai dish live here in the studio with us today. Peter, lovely to have you, man. Always welcome good. back, always welcome good. back. Always good. So, I mean, I think we share uh, both a big love for Thailand, especially the food as well. Very, yeah. very flavorful. I think uh, as South Africans, it's still probably one of our biggest destinations because it's very affordable. That's it. And we love food, and, and that's what Thailand's about. It's, it's, it's good it. beaches and great food. Brilliant. So yeah. this is your favorite Thai dish, Tom Yum Gai. Yeah, the reason right, why I is... say it's probably one of my favorites is because it's got all the flavors that you would normally have in a Thai yeah. dish. So basically, what, what is it? Chicken soup? A uh, chicken soup, but you okay. can change it accordingly. So yep. I put some oil into my pan, All nice right. and hot. Some chicken, obviously this could be vegetables or whatever. Yeah. We're going to give that about two seconds or so. Sure, nice and hot. Nice and hot. Remember, anything with, um, when you're dealing with Thai foods and, and stir frying and all that, you always use a hot pan. So yes. it's a very quick yes. process. Okay, now that's in, I'm going to throw my mushroom and my onions. Yep. Okay, and these are not to be cooked down because these are part of the food. So you yeah. don't want them to be cooked down completely. Yeah. Okay, just give that a bath. So what is it about this particular dish that, that caught your attention while traveling in Thailand? Um, it has all the flavors that every Thai dish should have. So you've got your red curry paste. Okay. You've got your galangal, which is a dried ginger. Yes. You've got your lime leaves, which are, um, we get them here as well. It's that, you know the rougher lemon that's got all those little yes. bits on it? Yes. That's the kind of lime. Uh, ah, lemon grass. Okay, so we're going to pop those in. We're going to pop our galangal in. Pop that in. And the important thing whenever you're making any curry is pop your spice in that it can actually sort of work its way onto the, the food items inside this. It's not just the, the sauce is tasty, yes. the whole dish is tasty. That is brilliant. Well, but yeah, that so is we, the thing that I love about Thai cuisine as well. It is incredibly flavorful. We very, have some tamarind paste. All right. Okay, so tamarind paste in there. Okay, and that's roughly about it. I'm going to throw a little bit more chili, some nice red chili for the color and a little bit more heat. All right. Going to throw in my chicken stock. We could use vegetable stock here as if well. You would if you like want it. Yes. Oh, nice. Well, if you want to get your hands on the recipe to Peter's favorite Thai dish, Tom Yum Guy, it was a nice chicken soup. All you need to do is SMS the keyword soup to 33728. That soup to 33728 will send you all the ingredients, the shopping list, also a link to the recipe. Okay. Okay. So is that so it? That's that's gonna go for about a minute or so. Then we're gonna add some Thai fish sauce, which is this yeah. is the seasoning which you use in Thailand. Instead so you of obviously using salt. salt. Yeah. And then a little bit of lemon. Uh, normally we'd use fresh lemon, we add that in. And then sometimes what they do with this in different regions is they will put some coconut milk into it. Okay. Okay, but you very seldom will you find that, but so it's, it's not a, a no-no if you do. But you can as well, to okay, add so a different can, kind of dynamic to yeah, the dish for sure. This is more of like a little, um, like a water type soup. Okay. And then <clears throat> over here we have it ready. Okay. So we're going to take that, just stir it up, and just, we're going to put it into our bowl. Look how beautiful that looks. Oh, look at that. Okay. And it, Oh, and it smells incredible. Okay, and then to top it up, we have some... To dress it a little bit. Some sprouts, just to give it some nice body and crunch. All right. And then some coriander. And look at that. Tom okay. Yum Guy. Brilliant. And a, a couple of tips when you, when you are in Thailand. Yes. Don't be scared of eating street food. It's That's what I wanted to ask it's you. It's definitely the yeah. way to go. Um, and when you see a restaurant, make sure that it's not the ones with the Westerners in. Yeah. Look at a restaurant, the tiny small ones, the ones where you can actually see the locals are eating. Those are the places to go. That is it. That is the one thing I wanted to suggest as well. You know, the street food. I've had some of my best food in Thailand on the street. When you're sitting at a little plastic table and chair Absolutely. with the locals, you really get some really top quality cuisine. Yeah, and you really, I mean, I've been there so many times and I've never once got ill on the food. No, the food no. Food is, is perfect. Street food is the way to go. Don't go into, I mean, you buy these books that tell you which restaurant it's going to. It's not necessary. Hit Use the your streets, eyes. Man. Hit, hit the, the streets, man. Hit the streets. I love it. Peter, thank you so much for joining us, man, and sharing your recipe. That keyword, once again, soup to 33728. Tom Yum Guy, a nice Thai chicken soup. But we are sticking to Thailand at the moment. If you're looking for a destination that has some great food, friendly locals, and is pretty affordable, then I think Thailand definitely is a great choice. But like I said, we are staying in Bangkok City while we look on the new year with uh, renewed hopes and ambitions. There's still a mountain of problems which threaten peace and prosperity the world over. So what uh, are the main issues facing us and how can we overcome them in 2016? That is the big question. Now, young leaders who actually came together at the One Young World Summit last year shared their stories and trouble and triumph in their home countries.